message to all the uh, fantastic education advocates that we have in the city of Hartford and the greater Hartford region. Um, Paul Diego Holzer here coming to you from Achieve Hartford. Just wanted to address uh, what's happening in the city right now. Um, it's all about school consolidation. It's all about resetting conditions. So for those of us who've been in the game for a while, I've been watching things happen in the last few superintendents, clearly something has to be done with school closures. We have to consolidate and concentrate our resources to try to give kids a much, much better quality of education. I think people forget a lot of times that conditions are what matters. And it's fantastic to see the Board of Ed, the mayor, the superintendent, her leadership team really addressing what others have not wanted to address really in the last three to five years. So kudos going out to the education leaders on the public sector to try to deal with some of these foundational issues, conditions, setting the right conditions for success. But I wanted to actually talk about something else today. Um, when we think about this time period where we're resetting conditions in Hartford, really with that work driven by the public sector, right? Um, I think it, it's important for us not to forget that there's still a lot of other work happening, a lot of great work, a lot of fantastic nonprofits, a lot of fantastic philanthropic groups uh, supporting great nonprofits, great things happening in the schools, outside of the schools. Um, how are we supposed to think about right now ways in which we can do what we do but really increase the impact, right? See the difference that it makes in the lives of our students and see that difference uh, become impact on test scores, a uh, number of kids getting into college, finishing college, all that stuff that drives why we do this work. So I wanted to just talk about one concept which we're calling here the system. Right? When we talk about the system, here, that means something very different than when I think a lot of people out on the street say the system. Uh, we're used to saying the system does this, the system has to fix this, or the system can't do this. Um, when, when people say that, they're oftentimes thinking critically of the public sector, right? The school system, or the city of Hartford, and the larger city system. The way we think about system is this. You've got the public sector, for sure and all the investment of money that goes into the public sector to deliver hopefully higher and higher quality services every day. You've got the community sector as well. People always talk about wanting to engage the community sector more deeply and also and, and usually how difficult that is. And then you've got the private sector over here. Private sector includes corporate, philanthropy, nonprofit, higher ed, the private sector, right, is in incredibly rich in resources here in Hartford. Um, you know, we've got resource issues for sure in the public sector, but we've got a strong, strong foundational set of resources there. And you look at the community sector, and you know that there's incredible assets in the community that we never fully tap. When you look at the system this way, right, you start realizing we are sharing responsibility for education outcomes for kids, right? You don't have to live in Hartford. Right? to care about Hartford. You don't have to even work in Hartford to feel like what happens to kids in Hartford matters to the health of the city, to the health of the region. We have got to adopt a new framework for how we understand the concept of the system. And we've got to look at the private sector and the community sector and say, while the public sector is resetting conditions, what are we doing? Right? What are we doing to drive a stronger coordination of resources in our city? And I say coordination because while there is a shortage of resources given the need, many people would say that, you know, first and foremost, there's a coordination problem more so than a resource problem. And I think that that, that concept really is starting, is starting to really, I think, pique a lot of people's interest. Because if things were better coordinated, first of all, with the resources we had, we could actually see a lot more impact and we could see student achievement go up. And while the conditions may not be ideal in this era of school reform, being led by the Harvard Public Schools and the Board of Ed and the Mayor, there's, that leaves still a lot of room for those of us in the private sector and the community sector to figure out how do we better coordinate our services to still see, to still see some type of increase in student outcomes uh, for which we all feel responsible. So I just wanted to drop you this note, let you know how we're thinking about the system here in Hartford and a lot more to come on this. Thanks so much for watching.